It's not professional. Mm -hmm. What? You calling me a hack if I get price at home? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> read, read between the lines or listen between the lines. Okay. All right. It's not professional. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 386th episode of Potty Talk. Hey, question for you. Do you give prices over the phone? Huh? 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 <laughs> Should you? <laughs> Would you? <ya>? Could you? <ya? laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, today's episode mm. title is why you never give prices over the phone. So hopefully everybody answers. Heck no. Well, we're going to talk about the pros and cons. We'll go okay. through here in just a moment. Okay. Hey, but it's good to have you here. Mm. Hey, just want to ask you, um, go ahead and share mm. right now. Go ahead and share potty talk. Yes, share us, like us. Um, leave us a review. Reviews are obviously big on, on all the podcast platforms, on YouTube, all of that. So if you would give us a like, a little comment, we would really appreciate it. Help us get the word out. Mm -hmm. All right. Share the love. <laughs> all right. So yes. why you never give prices over the phone. For now, your plumbing business. For your plumbing business. Right? Now, mm -hmm. we, this, this is kind of a hot button here. I mean, this is one of those those topics or uh, conversations that, that I have mm -hmm. um, that, that kind of gets the most emotional, one of those things that gets emotional. Um, conversations that you have with plumbing business owners. Right. Got it. Because it's it's one of those, well, I have to. Mm -hmm. well, Customers well, ask. Ask. I, I got, got to give prices over mm -hmm. the phone. Yeah. Customers, they want huh. a price. They want a price. So mm -hmm. the customers are asking for it. Um, they're, literally, they're asking, they're for, asking it. for it. All right. right. <laughs> all right. And we think because others are doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, but that's just, those are just excuses. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we get that, you know, look, the customer is going to ask you how much it costs mm -hmm. because that's an intelligent question. Right. All right. Yeah. The, the, the psychology of what's happening. Uh, first of all, no one wakes up in the morning, wants to call a plumber. What? Okay. They have a plumbing issue. Mm -hmm. So they've, they've already talked it over with their spouse or mm -hmm. whoever they're with. They've already decided that today <laughs> I'm going to pay to get this taken care of. Right. Can't so, take it no more. Right. So they've, they're already sold. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they're also uncomfortable. Again, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm -hmm. We're going to have this guy out here. I got to spend money on this kind. I don't really know about what's going on. Sure would rather or spend I, money, money on something else. else. Right. Or I had other plans for today. Mm -hmm. Or now I got to call off work. So now I'm maybe losing money there or whatever, whatever it is. So they're uptight. And so when they call uptight, you know, what, what do we all want to do? We want to kind of control the situation. Mm -hmm. All right. So the, when they call a, a, a controlling question or one way is, well, how much is this going to cost? Right. I mean, it's just, that's a logical, mm -hmm. um, intelligent question to mm -hmm. ask. It's yeah. not that they're really looking for the cost. Mm -hmm. They are. It is the, the psychology is that they're more trying to gain control of the situation. Right. And that's where if you answer the phones properly and, and handle your customer service rep, CSRs handle the phones properly. Um, you're the one that's asking the question, not the customer, because that then gives them confidence. It gives them confidence that you know what you're doing. They they feel secure. This isn't your first rodeo. You're going to be able to help them out, right? Right. And we've had other potty talks, you know, we'll uh, talk this, on that the, line. Right, of answering mm -hmm. the phone and this this kind of situation. Yes. But we're all getting to the point of why we never give prices over the phone. Correct. All okay? right. But you got some points. So I do have some points, okay? <laughs> and I have a cheat sheet, too, okay. so I know you do. And the, the <laughs> first point here, all right, it's not – professional. Mm -hmm. What? You calling me a hack if I get price over the home? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> read, read, read between the lines or listen between the lines. Okay. All right. It's not professional. Mm -hmm. how, how can you give a price for something when you don't know what's really going on? Mm -hmm. Well, they told me it's just the water heater. Right. So who's calling is a, a master licensed plumber that knows all about why they have no hot water. Mm -hmm. How many times have you gone out on a job right. um, and the customer said it's one thing or it's just this, it should only take you 10 minutes, you know, whatever it is that they say um, that it's, um, it's just this, or I would do it myself or whatever it is. Right. Um, but how many times do you get out there? And then it's something either totally different or there's way more involved than just what the customer originally thought. Right. Yeah. I would, I would venture to say 60 to 70% of the time. That's what happens. How many times guys have you gotten out there where there's like a leak at the water heater? My, my water heater's leaking. Or and so I would kind of, you know, Ooh, it's going to be a new water heater water and heater. you get out there and it's the, the water softener mm -hmm. or the HVAC drain is the stopped humidifier up. You know, right. right. It's, right. It. it's like, mm -hmm. And that's where the water's coming from. Mm -hmm. So the customer does not know what the situation is. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Also, the customer, um, even if they, they happen to hit the situation, it is the water heater. They don't know whether the water heater is up to code. Mm -hmm. So you may have to make some code change, do some things, mm -hmm. you know, make some changes to bring the water heater up to code. Right. You don't know if you, a water softener is sitting right in front of it. Right. Right. You need uh, to, un to uninstall and uh, then 
change the water heater out, right? Or gas lines mm-hmm. in front of it. You don't exactly. you don't know these things. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as you start asking the, the, the customer those kinds of questions, um, we'll, we'll get to a point, uh, another one of my points here, why we just not, we're not positioned that way, but I'm assuming it's you. Cause that's what a lot of times we hear is it's, it comes from the, the plumber owner. Right. Okay. Of course. Well, I can sell, I, I get them over the phone. Right. Well, of course you do because of it's you, you do. because you know to ask the question, well, mm-hmm. is there gas in front lines mm-hmm. as you're trying to figure out the total time and what you're dealing with? Do you mm-hmm. have an expansion tank? Do you have, you're, you're able to ask those kinds of questions. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you don't know, you, you don't really know what the situation is. So right. it's, it's a lot like a doctor. Mm-hmm. Try calling your doctor up mm-hmm. and saying, you know, I'm feeling like this and doing like this. I just need a prescription. Right. And then he just says, okay, here you okay. go. Try, try that. <laughs> that is never happening. Right. It's it's, un, it's it's unprofessional. Right. Same thing. Go. It's the same exact thing. That's why mm-hmm. if I've ruffled some feathers here, mm-hmm. you're giving prices over the phone. That is hack plumbing. Mm-hmm. It's certainly not. Um, professional. Professional. Right. Mm-hmm. At, at best, um, you know, it, it more sense the word. It's hack. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're being a hack. Okay, <laughs> you're trying I, to I'm soften gonna, it, but right, I don't think there's I, a way. I don't, I don't want to offend you. <laughs> Why not? But, but it's I'm but so, we, I think offending is sometimes right, we, we is should. Okay. Yes, I should because I, I want you to be successful. <laughs> right. Okay, and and I want you to be able to grow, which we'll, we'll get to that point. Right, and we and get. Our, I mean, especially if you're answering the phones, if you if the plumber right. or business owner is answering the phones, that's your first mistake. Right. Stop, right. please. Please, please, for the love of God, stop being the one to answer your phone. Right. Stop. You're the worst person on the phone ever. Exactly. And we've had okay. probably talks about that too. But we get it. If you if you are answering the phone, right, you're 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 walking through your your plumber, so you're mentally going through all the things that can be in your life. So then you throw out a ballpark, right? Right. right? I don't know if you want to talk about ballparks now or well, ballparks get, always well, one of my favorite Well, well that topics. brings to the next point. Okay. When we, we go right to the price and we, we get pulled into that that mm-hmm. dialogue, okay. It's, um, it now makes it about money. Right. Okay. Instead of value. Value. Okay. It makes it about, it makes it about the money. Mm-hmm. And you on the ballpark, mm-hmm. this, this is, this is the point on the ballpark. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is years of dealing, dealing with the 30. I mean, mm-hmm. I, and it's no different where you're at. Okay. No, I, it doesn't matter what area where you're at. It's human nature. It's human nature. Mm-hmm. Okay. But so, so you say, you know, they go through the rigmarole and it's somewhere between 250 and $500. Right. That's if it's right. I mm-hmm. want all the information, which is, again, it's, it's. It's very unprofessional. And I'll go as far as stupid. Yeah. It's stupid. Maybe I don't, I hear, I'm hear kids saying, <laughs> it's not nice to say stupid. <laughs> That's but right. No, but so it is stupid, stupid to get prices over the phone. I think we can say stupid now. Okay. Um, and I, maybe use a different price other than 250 to 500 Let's talk water heater, right? Then, so they call and they say the water heater is leaking. And so now you are you think, okay, it needs to be replaced. And you throw out a price and it's going to be expensive. And they think, well, I've been to Lowe's and I've well, seen... The, Exactly. Well, yeah. let me stay with, so even with the water heater, stay right. with that example, because okay. that, that's a good example. Mm-hmm. So it depends on, you know, if it's if basic, you know, it could be anywhere from, you know, um, we'll say $1,300, mm-hmm. which is not the water heater way more, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, it could be anywhere from $1,300, you know, $1,300 to $2,000. Mm-hmm. Okay. First of all, the customer only hears $1,300. Yes. <laughs> okay, the customer didn't hear $2,000. No. Customer only heard $1,300. <laughs> let, let me repeat that. <laughs> The customer only heard $1,300. They only hear the lowest price you give. Okay, it do- doesn't matter. You mm-hmm. say, well, no, I gave them a ballpark. It, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Now they have in their mind $1,300. Right, and okay. maybe it'll be a bit, little bit less. Right. right? Exactly. Maybe. Exactly. <laughs> and they're, they're, that's, mm-hmm. the, that's what's in their mind. Mm-hmm. So now you set them up for a couple, set yourself up for a couple problems, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, the first problem is it's always more than what they expect. So $1,300. Right. $1,300. <laughs> They're only, you know, $400 at Home Depot. Right. I've been to Home Depot. I've right. seen the water heaters. Um, so and- you're making how much an hour? <laughs> right. Working, it only takes an hour to put one in. Mm-hmm. What, you know, you, you're going to... You, I could put one in. And, right. Well, okay. Okay. Go ahead. And you're, you know, it's, all they hear is $1,300. It's always more than what they expect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and it's over the phone. Okay. So the value is being there in their house. Exactly. When, when you're there in their house, mm-hmm. you're, I'm able to get it done right now. Yes. Okay. But we've set, we've set it up to make it all about the money. Right. Okay. And, the, and the value also is, in, for one, how you answer the phone. Hopefully, again, it's not you. You've got right. a professional CSR answering the phone. It's um, the system that you use. Are we texting or calling or something when we're on the way with a friendly you know, friendly text or a friendly phone call. Um, when we show up, do we show up in a nice truck, not some beater truck that's leaking oil all over the place, right? It's the whole experience. When they answer, come to the door and answer the door, are you, is your technician uniformed? Do they maybe even have, you know, their name on it or something that, that you know, 
gives them information, a badge or whatever it might be. Do the, does the plumber put on shoe covers? All those things, that builds the value. That can't happen over the phone. Right. It, no, it cannot happen over the phone. It all, is, right. and, and and it all me, becomes about the money. Let me give you another example. So if you called up one a really nice steak place and you're like, okay, um, I'm going to come in for dinner and I want to get a filet. How much does a filet dinner cost? And they, you know, say 45, 50 bucks, you know, whatever it is. 45 or 50 bucks? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. I can go to down to, you know, Meyer or to Meyer. Why did I say that? Uh, Publix or, you know, uh, grocery store. And, you know, I can get one for $15 a pound, right? right. Well, you didn't get to experience the whole Thing, especially right. like with Ruth's Chris, where it comes out, where it's sizzling and, and the tablecloths are linen and the waiters look are dressed really nice. All the things you didn't get to experience that. If you just got the price over the phone, it, there's no value to that. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's just about the money. Right. And you've set yourself up to be smacked. And you're giving <laughs> prices over the phone like this. And now, mm -hmm. okay, have we gone ahead? you know, and we've given a range or whatever, mm. you're set yourself up to be smacked. You know, we just said it, you know, well, oh, it's $1,300. Oh, it's only this and that kind of a thing. Mm. Um, that's all you heard was the $1,300. Okay. So now you get out there and you find out they don't have a 50 gallon water heater. They have a 75. <laughs> Power event. It, right. How could it, right. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and something like that, which is this way. I mean, it just, how, how, it how do you miss everything. that? They do. We've been here, of done that. Course. I mean, been, guys, raise your hands right now. How many people, right. how many times you've gone out Comment to Comment below. <laughs> if you've ever been to, to you know on a plumbing job uh -huh. where it was wasn't what they said it was, right? <laughs> okay, give some examples. Right. Love to hear it. <laughs> so so now that you've set yourself up to, to to actually where they believe you're ripping them off. Yes. Because now it doesn't matter. You can come back and say, well, it's it's not the same thing that mm -hmm. I was getting. It doesn't matter. But you the, said the psychology of it is mm -hmm. is you know now now you know now it's twenty five hundred bucks or better. Oh gosh, the power event. Today. I wonder what it is right, right. now. Um, and so event. right, so now. You again, they think you're ripping them off. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't. You're not setting yourself right. up for success. Right. And you're not providing good customer service, giving a price over the phone. I don't know if we're going to talk about that, um, but it's, it's not good customer service because again, you're going to get out there and more than likely the price is going to be different and the customer is going to be upset. They're already upset anyway. So now they're just going to be even more upset. So exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, we got another very strong point coming. We'll hit it okay. in just a moment after a word from our sponsor. Automate your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Service Titan. Service Titan is the world's leading all-in-one field management software for home service businesses looking to improve efficiency and profitability. Just ask Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit-sucking manual tasks, but they now have scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come. To check them out and to take advantage of special discounts for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash service titan. All right, welcome back. All right, we're talking why you never give prices over the phone. Mm -hmm. All right. And we've decided it's stupid. <laughs> like, just like saying <laughs> that word. It's stupid. Stupid is. It's stupid, stupid does. does. <laughs> and giving prices over the phone is stupid is. It's stupid does. You know, it's not professional. It is not. If you can drill, that's one of the first things I want to drill, you know, my clients' minds. It's not professional to give prices over the phone. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way you know really what's going on. And you're mm -hmm. taking their word at it. Right. Okay. Which then also sets you up for, for uh, item number two, mm -hmm. where it's, it's um, you know, money becomes the focus. Right. Okay. So whether you're giving a ballpark, they don't hear, they hear the lowest number. Mm -hmm. And then if it's, you know, it's still way more than what they expect to play, pay for plumbing because no one mm -hmm. wants to spend any money on plumbing because mm -hmm. no one wakes up in the morning <laughs> and wants to call a plumber. All right. So, and then, then it also sets you up for mm -hmm. if it's, it's not what they told you it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what you gave the ballpark for, now you're really set yourself up where they feel you're ripping them off. Right. And actually, right. it becomes a transactional um, experience between you and the customer right. as opposed to a good experience, right? Yeah. Where you came in, saved the day, got, it, got the water back, you know, made the leak stop, whatever it was, right? That's a value experience as opposed to just a transactional experience. Right on. Mm -hmm. Good point, babe. Yeah. You know, I have those every now and then. You do. All right. It's like you, you've been around. You've seen these. Mm -hmm. All right. I've been around the block. Oh, you've been around a block or two. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> what they say? You're, huh? you look older. Oh. You, know, you, look, <laughs> no, I, I look, you look really young oh, from far, far away. away. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone did actually say that to me at a gym. Some young guy <laughs> was some young guy was hitting on my woman oh. at the gym, which I'm proud of because she does look really good in her 
But when he came clearance. up to me and we so, chatted so for a little it, bit, right. and he said, "Wow, you, you look really young from far, far away." away. <laughs> 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 oh, that was almost a compliment. He just right. stopped. Well, just a little bit. I, I just think you freaked him out. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Because he asked how long. <laughs> so his line was, "So how long you've been working out? How long you've been working out?" And I All said, right. "Oh, about forty years." He said, "What? How old are you?" How old are you? I said, "Sixty." He's like, "Wow, you look really young <laughs> from far away." Right. Oh my goodness, poor young guy. He all was right. all flustered after that, but he tried. Okay. <laughs> well, and then I, then I said, "Well, my husband thinks my husband thinks I, I forget my husband thinks something. My husband thinks I'm beautiful. He's right down there, the guy with the big muscles. That's okay. my husband." He kind of turned or walked right. away after that. <laughs> Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, how did we get there? I don't, I don't know. even know. I've been around the block. That's you've already been around the block. All right, what's point it? number three, Million well, Dollar Well, point plumber. number three, and, th- and this, is, this is the point here, really what we're all about here. It's difficult to scale. I'm going to change that. It's impossible. I, it's impossible I, I was, to scale. Well, there's always, I, I hear, I, no, I, I, don't care. I, I get the they're, text no, or the wrong. emails or whatever. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing now. Then we are now. Oh, okay. No, it's impossible. You know, it's impossible. It's possible you know, to scale. You know, I did see a pig pig fly once. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, sorry, you can say whatever you want. I remember when I I'm... had my first joint too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Joint. Joint. Wow. All right. Back in the day, uh, been a long time. Okay, okay. let's okay. move on. We got to get to point three. It's <laughs> impossible to scale. Yes. You say difficult. I say right. impossible. It is. It, <laughs> yeah, it's and it's right. It's mm-hmm. impossible to scale mm-hmm. because it it demands for you to get prices over the phone. First of all, it's an uncomfortable situation for the customer. The, the customer is totally uncomfortable, and so you know, um, an uncomfortable customer is not a buying customer. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they're looking for any reason to say no. Okay. Even though they're already sold, they're looking for any reason to say no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you as the owner, you know, you know, or you have a, you know, you as the owner or a licensed plumber. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, a licensed plumber, even another person on the phone giving prices, isn't going to be as motivated as you. No, They're just not motivated. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to be looking for the things and saying the right thing. Well, no, Joe's a great guy. I've known him since second grade. (laughs) He's not as motivated for you as you are. To really spend time with this customer, okay? okay. Mm-hmm. And so you can turn it around, or a plumber can, can turn it around, even though they're not as motivated, really good one. Mm-hmm. okay? Um, because you, you know what to ask, and, and again, you're motivated, okay? Mm-hmm. Or so you say, well, I'll put a salesman there, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, again, now, now you're, you're, you're depending on a salesman, right. okay? You and can't you're giving scale. away more profits as right. well. Right, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. You can't scale. That. It's, it's, that's why I said it's difficult, because a lot of – you know, um, home service companies do have, you know, salesmen and that kind mm-hmm. of, it, that's a much, that's a much harder game. And for the, uh, okay. for our avatar, the people that, that listen to Potty Talk or in the Success Academy, part of the Million Dollar Plumber family, um, are normally anywhere between just starting out all right. the way to, you know, 12 to, to 15 ish trucks, right? You get up into 20, 30 trucks. I mean, you, you've got a pretty good organization, good size organization. Um, and, you know, then, Maybe sales, even then, or, yeah. but especially to, need, to our customers, right? It's, right? it's impossible to scale because what do you want? Do, if it relies on you, plumbing business owner, to give prices over the phone, when are you ever going to have a day off? When are you going to have a day off? Not even, let alone a whole week off, maybe to go on vacation, right? And if you do go on vacation, how many times does this happen? You're on vacation, you finally take a vacation, you go with your family, and you're on the phone the whole time, yep. right? That, that is not a way to live. That's not the freedom lifestyle. That's not, certainly not the freedom lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and also when it com- comes to sell, which you need to set, we are setting this the business up to sell. Mm-hmm. Okay, this, this thing, I'm building a monument to myself, or I want to hand this down for generations to come. That's <laughs> just not, it's not realistic. Mm-hmm. Okay. For the vast, vast, vast All majority. Right. And I would advise, as much as I love plumbing, look, we're, we want to build you to 12, 15 trucks doing, you know, Five to seven million a year with a million plus to the bottom line. You're making a great living. This thing's turning over cash. The big boys will come in. They see a money machine and they're going to throw more money at it and make it a bigger money machine. Correct. You take the multi millions, mm-hmm. all right, 
and, and get the heck out of Dodge. Right. And you start investing in other things that more um, passive, more and passive income and don't take the time mm -hmm. and create real wealth. Correct. Okay. And but these companies coming in are not going to feel comfortable if yes. the whole system relies on you giving prices over the phone. It's right. just not. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we, just, um, we just had one of our clients um, who was two and a half years ago. They were broke. B-R-O-K-E. Broke. 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 Mm -hmm. broke. <laughs> All right. Living in a little house with four kids <laughs> under the age of four. Yes. A set of twins. A set babies. of twins. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, two and a half years later, they're living in their dream house. Mm -hmm. Bought a dream house in Florida. Bought a second on home On the water. In second home. In, in, and just sold their, their plumbing business for multi-millions. Yep. Small town. This wasn't a big city, mm -hmm. small town, so I don't want to hear, hear that. Mm -hmm. But there were the, the, the finance, the company that buys these kind of companies were looking at, was really looking at another Nexstar company that was in town, mm -hmm. the big Nexstar company in town. Right. They ran from it because Nexstar, it's, that's why you know, we, we talk about keeping it simple. It's too complicated and too mm -hmm. dependent on too many different pieces. Mm -hmm. They found this company, mm -hmm. and even though it was smaller, they fell in love with it because they could come. It was easy to operate. It didn't depend on anybody. It was, wasn't a lot of complexity. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And so they, 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 they did very snatched it up. They snatched it up. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what they're looking for. And that's what you want to set up. Yes. So you, you want You don't want to be in a position where you're, you're having special salesmen or, you know, mm -hmm. you know, where you're selling on and the phone. Especially depending on you for right. sure. Right. So that is why you never, ever, ever give prices over the phone. Be never. Pro be professional. Stop being a hack. There we go. Okay. Okay. Enough mm -hmm. said on that. <laughs> All right. Do you, hey, if you think I'm full of crap, put it down in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> let me know what you think about this down in the comments. All swell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, mm -hmm. make, make your argument. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll All be day. wrong. Right. <laughs> All day long, you know, but hey, we'll gladly listen, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, <laughs> men cannot give birth. Okay. <laughs> so you can talk to me all day long about how men can give birth. Okay. Okay. Bye, YouTube. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Great all right. episode, baby. Okay. <laughs> We're, I'm reeling yeah. in. There we go. Good episode. I think oh. um, somebody listening need to hear that. Yes. So, all yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Hey, stop the selling over the phone. Yes. Okay. Hey, if you, if you want, uh, you want to be, uh, learn other things here and, and, and be pointing in the right direction. Um, look, um, schedule, schedule a free strategy call with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll, we'll just have a conversation. Okay. We'll get you uh, pointing in the right direction. Okay. And we'll, we'll offer you some solutions, mm -hmm. um, and, and some, you know, some options that you would have for you. Help so you grow your plumbing, hope you grow business, your plumbing business the okay? right way. So let's, let's talk, go to mm -hmm. the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call mm -hmm. and schedule yeah. your call. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. there we go. Okay. Great All episode. Right. Thanks everybody so much for joining this episode of Potty Talk. It's great having you here. But before we let you go, as always, we want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye-bye, everybody.